the Tyler Jones Show presents college football 25 teams in 25 days. The road to New Orleans begins here. Now let's go to Tyler. Hello, sweethearts. Welcome to college football 25 teams in 25 days. The road to New Orleans begins here. Tyler Jones here with you. And today we will reveal the number 22 team double dose on this countdown. And let's go and review what we have done so far. The number 25 team was the Arizona State Sun Devils. The number 24 team was West Virginia. And the number 23 team was Missouri. Missouri and Arizona State will go head-to-head -head in September. The number 22 team in college football is being revealed right now. The number 22 team is the reigning national champion Auburn Tigers. Now, let's look at what Auburn has. They're going to really rely on the running game of Michael Dyer. Now, their, their schedule is actually pretty easy. They have that one tough game against Alabama. They play Florida. Their division isn't as strong as it has been in the past. Eight returning starters for Auburn. They're pretty well set in. Now, at only eight out of 22 starters, but the big thing, yes, they have Michael Dyer coming back, and they're going to run the football is this man right here, Cam Newton. Now, I might surprise you when I say this, but Cameron Newton, no Cam Newton equals no problems. Now, why do I say this? Cam Newton, will be, he's going to be playing on Sundays now for Carolina after the lockout ends, and it's going to end. And he won't have to deal with these off-the-field issues. The Tigers won't have to deal, deal with this. It really gets in your mind when your teammate is... is got some problems and stuff. It affects the team. If Cam Newton were to come back, we're talking about a team that has to go through a whole offseason. What is it, six months or nine I I can't even keep track anymore. But imagine having to go through that every day and think about that. It was one thing when they survived four weeks with the allocations coming out, but a, a whole six months, I mean, that's just too much. Can the team bear through that? I think it's a good thing that he's gone because it gets rid of the distractions. They can go on and play Auburn Tiger football. And other than that, I mean, the big thing about losing Kendon, they also lose Nick Fairley, their star All-American defensive tackle. He got drafted by the Detroit Lions. He'll be playing alongside former AP College Football Player of the Year, Nadonna Kinsu and Kyle Vandenbosch for the Lions. But uh, they're going to be weaker on the defensive line, not great like they were last year, and no Cam Newton. They're going to have to run the football. But we'll see what this team can do. They have that easy schedule, and but th this is just not the same team that it was last year. And it's a good time transition. No Cam Newton. You only have eight starters back. It really gets rid of the distractions. And this Auburn team, they can go places. If these starters get into a rhythm, we're talking about possibly nine wins, I think. At, at max, they could get up to ten. They have an easy road ahead. These players need to get in sync fast. When you have young guys on the field, it takes a while to grow. And this team is going to have to grow quickly if they want to emerge as a spectacular football team under head coach Gene Chizik. And that is the Auburn Tigers, the number 22 team. Who will be number 21? The Tyler Jones Show presents college football 25 teams in 25 days. The number 21 team will be revealed on this next episode. The Road to New Orleans begins here. This is another edition of college football 25 teams in 25 days. So long. And get back to what you're doing. Just whatever it is. I don't care. And have a good night.